Well, you drive a hard bargain there. I'll take a $50 gamble for it. <laughs> People are already coming and getting the good stuff. Nothing. Me and y'all are picking yeah. nice purses right there that go with your outfit. How are you? How are you? Well, I'm doing well. I got a nice knife here with the sharpener that belonged to my late husband. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, everybody dies. Oh, nice purses right there. That go with your outfit, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> and that bag Thank has you. got a five in one purse. I know polka dots will go with your back. Your outfit. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I got to see how it looks next to me, right? That's right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Have a good day. I'll come back for uh, fashion advice. I didn't even ask how much were you how much were you selling the knife for? Ten dollars. Would you do five? Yeah. Okay. I'll take it away for five. Good morning. Good morning. Any electronics or like video games or like trading cards or older like t shirts? Nothing. Me and y'all are picky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. And all that, and then whatever else catches my eye. Yeah. Well, those are my go-tos. They don't want dishes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are the things I'm trying to get rid of myself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank y'all. I love community yard sales, but I'm not a big fan of the community yard sales within the newer subdivisions because. They're newer and people just moved there. So when they moved there from their old house, they got rid of all of their older stuff, which is the stuff that I like. And really all you see is newer houseware and newer clothes, all the boring stuff that has no value to me, at least. That being said, we are on our way to another community yard sale. Let's hope for some good scores. So this neighborhood looks a tad bit more established, not as new as that last neighborhood. Let's see if we find anything. Doing well. People are already coming and getting the good stuff. Let's see. And all Tupperware. Plastics. Plastics. All right, I'm gonna run next door. Thank y'all. How much is your Oculus? Tammy, how much is your Oculus? <laughs> Do you know if it works? Not really, but... See, I was going to take it to a pawn shop. Will you do $40 for it? I mean, I'm sure it does work. Will you do 50 I'll take, I'll do 50 Okay. Yeah. $50 gamble, <laughs> but I'll do, I'll take a, I'll take a $50 gamble for it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, and this goes with it too. I don't know. Let me look right, around. Thank you. Let's see what else we got here. How much are the old Santas up there? Uh, I'll take 20 for both. All right, I can't turn that down. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that big one, but, <laughs> well, will you do 10 for just a small one? I don't, <laughs> actually that big one's just so big, I don't know what I'm going to put on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, this is scary. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I think that's a, this is the first horror movie I ever watched. Was the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Which I don't know why my parents let me watch that yeah. when I was like in elementary school. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Me too. I grab my little Santa here. Guys. All right. I just got back in the car and looking up these old Santas. And I'm about to go back and get that other one because it is $400 on eBay. I'm going to give you 10 more and take this other one off of you. Ooh, watch out there, Santa. Get on in your red, red key sleigh here. Oh, Megan's going to kill me. Well, that community sale only turned out to be two houses, but I had a pretty good score. I bought an Oculus for 50 bucks. Hopefully I'll get back home and test that out and it will work. And I bought the two Santas for $20 and one looks to go for about $200. Let's talk about my friend St. Nick here. So 
I spent $10 on this Santa Claus. It is a Rushton company, it is a brand. And I went back to my car and I looked up some comps and I saw this little guy was going for about $150. They had offered $20 for this one and the bigger one. And I was like, all right, at that price, if this one's going for 150, the other one's like two feet taller, I'm gonna go back and get it. I mean, for comparison, I'm about 6'3". This guy is about four feet tall. He's huge. And I saw a similar comp for this one go for $500. So we're gonna be pretty good friends there, St. Nick. Pretty good friends, pretty good friends, pretty good friends. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. That's a potential $500. Bye. Good morning. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I like like older video games or older t-shirts or like what kind of t-shirt? Like graphic print, like the bomb. Yeah, like older t-shirts. What, kind of, what uh, kind of t shirts you got in here? You wanna look at these two? Oh yeah, I'll take a look at them. That's extra large. And then we'll do this one. I'm going to show you a dollar. Do a dollar a piece. How about three for both of them? <laughs> we drive a hard bargain there. <laughs> How about three pieces? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have any video games? You look like you no, made you he, seem like you might have. His own, he sold his video games. All right. Thank okay. you. You'll have a good one. Good. You too. Morning. How much is the the Polaroid camera stuff up there? Um. Okay, Joe, you're saying that. I know oh. you said I could, but you want uh, anything in particular? About I mean, I'd be interested in the whole thing if it's. I mean, I'm not really sure how much it's all worth, but. Yeah. So I have like a bunch of just you know stuff that I don't need anymore. The camera's probably the only real interesting thing in there. Um. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Fifteen dollars? I'll take it for fifteen bucks. Okay. Cool. Yeah way to another yard sale and I passed this Goodwill so you know I can't pass up a Goodwill run. So that was a strikeout. I have been hitting up a lot of thrift stores lately. I will put out a video on all my thrift store finds here shortly. I've just been consumed with yard sale stuff lately. A thrift store video is coming shortly. Hey, how are you? Good. There's a lot of stuff downstairs, guys. Okay. And stuff like that. There's a whole house? Yes. Okay. All right. It um. is. What you got on a, a sweater? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do like a two dollars? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Dude, they do a lot of cake decorating. Oh, uh, my mother did. Yeah, I've done a couple cakes in my in my days. That's old Batman. Got some interesting stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. What would you do on this bag right here? Oh. Uh. $10. I was thinking five. Well, you don't bundle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check out with you. Yeah. Say seven then. Yeah. All right. I just got home from my yard sales. I had a pretty good haul. And without further ado, oh, wait a second. Let me grab some people. All right, that's better. Now we have everybody here. Let's get into everything that I bought in today's breakdown. I bought this vintage charade old timer pocket knife for $5, complete with the sharpening stone. Should go for about 30 bucks. 
I got these two Ice Cube t-shirts for $3.50 and this lady drove a hard bargain so I should get about $15 or $20 for the pair of these. I bought a bag of Christmas uh, vintage cake toppers for I believe the bag was $5 and these look to go for about 10 and there were six of these and these look to go for about five and there, I believe there were about four of these so about a 60 plus dollar bag there. So I paid $15 for a bundle of camera gear so we got the Polaroid 210 should go for about $15. Magic cubes which I have no idea what these things do should go for about $10. We got some film about $10. I have three different flashes here, which should go for about five to ten dollars each. Got this little thingamabobber, which I'm not sure. I think it reads the exposure of light. The big score in that bag is this little thing here, which I definitely don't know what this thing does, but this goes for about forty to fifty dollars. I got the Oculus here. I paid fifty dollars for this. I got it back to the house. I was super excited to play this. And I come to find out you need a PC to run the software for the Oculus. I have a Mac, so I cannot test this. I cannot play it. Uh, I was super bummed. I would just sell this for parts or as is on eBay for about $100 plus. In total, I spent $100. If my Santas go for top dollar, this one for $150, the other one for about $500, and everything else, if it goes for what I how I'll list it at to begin with, I should make around $900. And once you subtract your $100 cost of good, which is what I spend on everything, and then about a 10 to 15% eBay fee, which is another $100, then you're left with $700. So for a couple hours yard selling, I say that is a pretty good haul, if I don't say so myself. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that like button. And until next time, have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.